their children safe in our evolving digital world from texting to Instagram to Facebook? Our children seem to be constantly on their phones. So how can we make sure that they are staying safe? Joining us today is Tatiana Jordan. Did I get the name right? Titania. Titania. Okay. All right. I knew I was going to mess it up. Uh, she is the chief parenting officer at Bark App. So uh, first suggestion to keep your kids safe when they're constantly doing this. Right. Well, so obviously we recommend use Bark, um, which is an internet safety solution that keeps your children safer online. You know, children are on their devices 24-7, 365, whether you like it or not. And so our technology monitors behind the scenes 24-7, 365 for signs of cyberbullying, sexting, suicide, depression, all of those things that are terrifying but really happening. But there, there is uh, more technology out there similar to what you're doing, but a lot of the complaints are is that they are uh, device-specific. You yes. guys are more account-specific, which I think is important. Correct, yes. Device-specific, location-specific. And not only that, um, they serve up all of the information mm. that your children are digesting every day, whereas we only give parents the concerning issues because we're, we have full-time jobs already. We don't need another one, and it really is a full-time job keeping your children safer. Uh, so there's a lot of... Um we call it phrases or mm -hmm. acronyms that uh, kids are using today that uh, it can be a little disturbing. Well. <laughs> Give us a list of some of those that uh, parents need to look out for. Sure. So let's see. WTTP, want to trade pictures. Um, if I saw that on my son or daughter's laptop um, or iPad, I would say no. <laughs> yeah. Big fat nope. Um, KMS, KYS stands for kill myself, kill yourself, uh, kill yourself. Very concerning, right? Mm -hmm. um, we've actually helped prevent close to 25 suicides on our platform alone this year. This is really happening, and we really have to step in and do something about it. This is somewhat of a form of communication. I mean, obviously, as a parent, you're supposed to, it's great to communicate with your children uh, face to face, but if the children are going somewhere else, to a friend's house or to uh, just, just general, like hanging out in a park, uh, you can't really follow and communicate with them. So this is, these are extra eyes for you. Yes, so if you are concerned about your children's social media use, texting or what's going on in their email, mm -hmm. that's where Bark comes in because we connect with those accounts, it follows them everywhere. And if your children say, hey, I'm going to shut down this Instagram account and start a, a, you know, a Finsta or another one, you'll get alerted right away because the usage will drop. So it's evolving. And how does this work? It's, you, you mentioned that it's sort of like Netflix. You pay yeah. nine something dollars a month. Uh, the first month free, right? Yes, first month free, then $9.99 per family per month. So if you have a lot of children, it's an extra great deal. Yeah, it's worth it. Right, a couple more phrases. Lift, yes. Turnt, turnt <laughs> up, and Gabby. <laughs> You know, we laugh because it's, it's just... folks over there laughing. Because <laughs> he probably knows all that stuff. <laughs> so we laugh because it's fun to hear it come out of your mouth. Right. But um, when it's on your child's device and you're, they're talking with their peers about mm -hmm. getting lit or dabbing or, you know, the party was turn up, you know, that could mean potential marijuana usage and, and other forms of getting messed up. And so um, you want to know that they are doing that and be able to step in and address those issues. Another thing that Bark does is we don't just bring the problem to your attention. We give you best next steps for how to deal with it, how to talk to your children. That's because at the end of the day, you have to have a continuing, ongoing conversation with them about this. It's a new era. We're raising digital natives. Um, it's part of the everyday conversation. Well, thanks for sharing it with us. And if you want additional information or get some of your answers or your questions answered, you can always go to bark.us, That's right? correct, bark.us. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so glad my youngest is 18. <laughs> All right, still ahead, Kelly Ripa has named her new co-host. Yeah, more on the big announcement that now has Ryan Seacrest 